guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the highly requested and I've promised this video for a really long time. This is the Muppets Original Collection Review. So the original Muppets collection came out in 2011 and it was their Christmas collection. It is a 12 piece collection and I do have the full thing. I asked you guys ages ago whether you wanted a full review of this. So this is kind of like a throwback Thursday or flashback Friday depending on what day I, I, I upload this video. Um, the reason why it took me so long, I don't want to give an excuse, but I realised right at the end that it only had 11 out of 12 so I had to purchase one then I had a nail break so I've literally just finished the, the swatches for this this morning. Um, I don't know how easily available you can get this anymore so I'm sorry if you fall in love with something but you guys asked for this video so let's get into it. So I've broken it down into like three lots of four because there are some very obvious themes to some of these polishes. So we will start with these chunky glitters. Now also I should say that I was also inspired by Yuki Warm Vanilla Sugar 0823. I'll link her channel down below. I've been talking about Yuki so much on here recently. She did a flashback Friday, I think it was, video about um, OPI and she said in the video that these glitters and this collection as a whole was like one of the big turning points because not a lot of mainstream brands have done really big chunky glitters up until this point so from this collection there is four glitters which are all exactly the same formula but just in four different shades the first one was a lemming of mine for a long time and this one is gone gonzo so all of these polishes are a clear base or well, originally were a clear base one of mine i think is slightly tinted now where they're a little bit old it's a clear base with very very fine micro glitter in whichever color we're talking about and then really big silver hexes so let me see if it will focus on that for you. So in this one, Gone Gonzo, it's a lovely bright blue colour and then you have all those large silver hexes on there. These look really nice two ways you've got to wear them. You can either wear them as one coat over, like I wore one coat of this over Can't Find My Checkbook by OPI, which is a light blue and it looked amazing. So you can wear them over a similar sort of colour of the glitter, like a cream, and they look amazing. You can wear them over something crazy and make a really interesting combination. Or you can do what I did in my swatches, where if you wear three coats of this, it's pretty much opaque. Um, they are very, well, again, I'm talking about old bottles, so I can't comment on what they were like at the time when they were brand new. But now they are very heavy in the like clear base. So um, you do have to kind of do a little bit of manipulation, drag a little bit of the formula off your brush so you just get glitter. I imagine if you like sponge this on, they would get opaque even better probably than what you're going to see in my swatches. But you're going to see three coats of Gone Gonzo and it's pretty much opaque. Next up in this family is Fresh Frog of Bel Air, which is the same concept, but this one is a beautiful emerald green colour. Now this one out of all of them is the one that separates the, I don't, it can't, it's not too bad because I'm just shaking it up, but this one if I leave it for more than, I mean, I'll leave it and then at the end of the video I'll show you what it's like, but it does separate really easily if you just leave it to sit. The other ones aren't too bad, that one I don't know why just separates really badly but if you shake it up it is usable uh, just be warned that if you want to buy it or you have it it does separate we have divine swine which is this beautiful kind of like fuchsia purple um glitter in this one this one is really unique i don't think i've seen any type of glitter in like this sort of colour before. It reminds me maybe of this, I think there's one from the Burlesque collection that is kind of like this sort of shade, but I find this one is quite unique. Again, you can wear three coats to build it up or you can wear one coat over whatever you like. So the purple one or pinky purple one is Divine Swine. I'm finishing up the first row of four is getting Miss Piggy with it, which is an almost red it's maybe got one or two drops of pink in that glitter it's just not a very it's not a true like coca-cola red there's something in it that's just maybe one or two drops of a ready pink um but yeah another one really really nice and then i do love the effect of these if you build them up to be completely opaque so the red one was getting miss Piggy with it this collection also has fantastic names for these we then move on to what I think was the negative of this collection is that it is very red heavy. So as well as having 
Um, is it get? I couldn't even forgot. Get Miss Piggy with it, which is red glitter. There's also one more that I'll show you with the last four that's kind of red. You then also have these four reds. So I think I know OPI holiday collections are very head red heavy, but this is red heavy. So we'll start with the least red out of them, and this one is Pepe's Purple Passion. And by purple, it actually means a really really dark maroony purple. I wouldn't say this is a true purple, seeing as the name is purple. It's a bit weird. So as you can see, it's this lovely like dark vampy purpley maroony red and then a very very subtle shimmer in there the shimmer does translate to the nail but it is like what you see it's not very very strong there might be more of a i think there's flakes in there as well and the flakes kind of go to a gold and to a pink as well so it's a very unique mix and um, this is one of the favorites of the collection i think from what i've read and what i've looked up um, and i did really like it and all of these red section all built up to be opaque in two coats so a really nice formula pepe's purple passion then we have meat 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 and meat 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 is probably the most pink out of these reds that i'm going to show you um, and it has a similar sort of glass fleck shimmer to it like pepe's purple passion and it probably is maybe even the same glass fleck maybe they're just in different bases now i've put the two together because it also has a glass fleck in it that goes to between a um, gold and also a pink so very similar very very similar now I've just even thought about it and I'm realizing they are quite similar so another two coater so this one is meat 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 and then what I originally thought were the most similar I kept thinking that I had both of these already and this is one I had is Waka Waka and Animalistic. Animalistic is possibly my favourite out of the red four that I'm going to show you. Um, Pepper's Pepper Passion is nice but this is really nice. So it is a pinky red and then you have this beautiful glass fleck in it and shimmer and it goes between like an orange and a gold and a pink. I don't really know if it's picking up on camera. I think it is a little bit. Maybe the pink is quite strong. But I don't have anything like this in my collection. I really like the kind of like on fire effect because it does go from pink to gold to orange. It kind of goes through all that spectrum so it does look really nice. And it also is quite like the character Animal because Animal is pink I think with orange hair. It's kind of his colours if you see what I mean. So I, I did like that one for that reason. And another two coater. Wrapping up the reds is going to be a Waka 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 and this is the most red out of these and it has got the least amount of shimmer and as you can see on the camera it does still have a pink flash to it but it is the most red and it's got the least glitter. It looks like just a normal red cream with that shift in it. When you put it on your nails there's not any glitter or fleck or anything building up in it. It's just a red with a shimmer and a flash. So that one there is Waka Waka Waka, two coats again. And then the last four are all the kind of different glittery finishes that I really, really enjoyed. So the first one is Excuse Moi, another Miss Piggy one. And this is a pink base and then it's a ton of glitter. And the glitter is all different colours, which is really, really cool. So that is all on the micro side of glitter um, and it is in, well, there's lots of pink micro glitter that give you this base. And then a smaller section of that there is... Um, yellow orange blue green silver so although the premise of it is mainly lots of pink you then get these flashes of kind of every color of the rainbow in there um, and another one that builds up completely opaque in two really really nice formula and it does dry slightly textured so that one is excuse moi then we have rainbow connection and i know this has been re-promoted and it's now, I can't think what the re-promotion of it was called because they changed the name. And it was a collection they came out with, I think it was like Spotlight on Glitter. And there was a dupe of When Monkeys Fly and there was a dupe of this in it. So if you might, I think it was it just Chasing Rainbows? It was something like that. So some of you may have a dupe of this out there. Um, and it is just a clear base with every colour of the rainbow glitter in there. It's beautiful. Again, similar to the others, you can wear it a few ways. You can build it to be pretty much opaque in three. Maybe if you sponged it on, it would be even more opaque than what you're going to see in my swatches. You can wear this as a topper. You can wear this to jelly sandwich. So it's a really versatile polish, and I think that's why lots of people liked it. Again, when I talk about this, you have to remember back in like 2011, like five years ago, polish was in a very different 
way than it is now this sort of glitter and this sort of collection was not commonplace whereas now you may think oh i could get that in an indie it's not so special but back then this was so different from opi to come out with um and probably is still one of their most unique polishes so that one is rainbow connection i've probably left the best till last because these two are so unique and i don't think that opi have done anything similar to this in future years this is actually the last one i swatched so i am wearing it right right now and this one is called warm and fuzzy and it is a beautiful glass fleck polish so it's got this bronze base to it and then the fleck in there is gold and orange and pink and it's just really really nice it's kind of like shimmery but it's like catches the light beautifully and it's like they're kind of on like another one where they're kind of on fire and they're kind of burn i just really really love this this one will take you three coats to get completely opaque because it is on a thinner formula side with all those flecks and like shatters in there to build it up so warm and fuzzy And last but not least, we have Designer De Better. And this, there is nothing else out there like this. This is a really weird kind of silvery platinum base. And then in the background of it, there is a ton of very, very, very fine bronzy orangey, more on like the coppery side of bronze um, glitters in there. So I don't know if that will pick up on the camera. Hopefully you can see it in my swatch. It's just so different and so shiny and so metallic and I don't know, I really, really like this one a lot. So this one I think was another three coats because I think Warm and Fuzzy and Zana de Better had very similar formulas from what I can remember. So yeah, love this one. I've just had this on for like 10 minutes and you can start to see with this how the top has started to separate already in... Um, and fresh frog of bel air so like i say you're gonna need to keep shaking this one if you want it to stay nice so that was my swatch and review of the og 2011 muppets collection which originally was christmas like i say this at the time was super unique and i still think if you look back on this collection there's not a lot of dupes out there for essentially not the reds but the other can i pick them all up oh my god for these eight polishes, there is not a lot of dupes or similar polishes out there. With the reds in the middle, hit and miss. There's been some similar. I think that some from the Minnie Mouse collection is probably similar. Um, Peppy's Purple Passion might be the most original out of there. Um, so maybe if you need to, if you want to find any of these, I'm saying maybe you don't need to go desperately hunting around for the middle four. There are a few of these still available on eBay. I had to buy Waka 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 and it was £7.50 with free shipping. So you can still get some of these bouncing about. I also found, I don't know if I found like half of these a long time ago on a website. If I can remember what the website was, I will link it down below. Although I don't think they're on sale there anymore. And the rest of them I picked up from blog sales and through those damn Facebook groups that take all my money. So that's how I've gathered the 12 of them throughout the years. This has probably been like a year project and I've kind of just picked up the last few that I needed in the last few weeks. So I hope you guys really like this video for Flashback Friday, Throwback Thursday, whichever day we get uploaded on. Um, I have a few more collections that I could do this for if you guys are interested because I know it's a bit weird because you can't get these readily but I do want to show them because they are beautiful polishes. So your options are, if you want to let me down below low in the, down there, um, I have all of them for the OPI Oz the Great and Powerful, which is the soft shades collection that was the three pastels and then the three glitter toppers and one texture. And I have all of those, so I can do that one. I also have all of the China Glaze um, on Safari collection, which was a full collection. I think it was like 2011's autumn collection. So I have all of that if you want me to do that one as well. I have almost all of the Hunger Games collection by China Glaze, so I wouldn't mind picking those up and I can do that one for you. That was another full collection. I think maybe that was the year before on Safari. Let me down below, down below if any of those interest you. I will kind of start to think of this as a bit of a theme and we'll try and maybe do one a month and I can get some old collections and get a few that I'm missing. I have half of the Spider-Man and half of the Nicki Minaj collection so I could maybe do that in the future as well. Let me know if you're interested and I'll do it. If not, I'll probably still buy them, but maybe I just won't show them to you in this format. Give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe, and thank you so much for requesting this video and for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.